you demanded i delivered so hey guys in this video i will let you know how to order your pcb a from glc pcb talking in simpler manner than how you can order the pcbs with already shouldered components on it from glc pcb so let's get started So as most of you must be knowing that I am selected for the Asia's biggest maker gathering that's Maker Mela which is happening on 9 to 11th January in Mumbai, India. So if you don't know then I think you must not be following me on Instagram. Why? Do follow me on Instagram to stay updated with my recent and my upcoming projects. The link is in the description. So do follow me there. So coming back to the video. So as I was one of the hundred maker who got selected for that fest, I decided to make a LED badge kind of thing which I can give away to some of the techies visiting the stall. And I won't lie here. Uh, I got this idea of making this LED badge by watching one of the video by Bitlooney on his YouTube channel called Bitlooney's Lab. So I'd like to give a big shout out to Bitlooney's Lab YouTube channel here. But the difference between the project he made and the project I made is of course the logo. Yes, but the second major difference is that he used a kind of a microcontroller for making this same, you know, uh, LED chaser batch. Uh, while in my case, I use a couple of uh, simple components like a triple five timer IC and a 4017 decade counter IC and some of the basic passive components. So I use the basic components for making this. And yeah, in this video, I will let you know how to make your own uh, PCB and how to use the SMT assembly service from GLC PCB. So let's get into it. So first of all, you need to decide what project you need to make. So I decided to make a LED batch with the LED chaser circuit on it. So first of all, I just tested the circuit on a breadboard with all the connections. And after confirming that everything is working fine on the breadboard, I just went to easyeda.com and make a schematic on it. For that, you need to go to this new and schematic. Here, go to the place component and uh, type the component which you want. Now, one thing which you need to note here is that uh, if, you, if you want to use the SMT service, SMT assembly service of JLC PCB, the component you choose must be available under JLC PCB assembled section. Earlier it was LCSC assembled, but now they updated with the JLC PCB assembled. So for example, if I want to place this 4017 decade counter IC, so yeah, it is available in this JLC PCB assembled option. So I can choose this and I can be sure that this IC will come already shouldered on the PCB. And if the component is not available, I think it will rarely happen. But if it is not available, I'm sorry, your PCB won't get that component shouldered on it. Okay. So after designing the schematic, I just made all the connections according to this diagram. Okay. So after uh, completing all the schematic, I just click on this button to convert it into PCB. Now before arranging all the components properly, I first imported my logo here and made a border of that logo. After making the outline border, I just arranged all the components inside that badge. Now here I transferred the LED on the bottom layer of the PCB while all other components are on the top layer of the PCB. Now I will let you know why I did this later in this video. Now after confirming all the connection, just save this file and click here to download the Gerber file of the PCB. Now for the SMT assembly service, you need two more files, which is the BOM file with the bill of materials and the CPL file which is a component placement list. Now these two files you will get after going to the schematic menu. Now go here and download the BOM file and uh, click here to download the pick and place file. That's it. Now go to jlcpcb.com and select this SMT assembly service. Now you can click this link to know more about this service. Okay, but I will directly click the quote now button for now. So now here I need to upload the Gerber file of the PCB. Now below I will click on this SMT service button. Now here as you can see there are two side display. One is the top layer and is the bottom layer. Now here you need to choose only one layer either top or bottom. See currently GLC PCB offers the SMT shouldering only on one side of the PCB. Maybe it's bottom, maybe it's top, it's up to us. Okay, so we need to select on which layer we want the components to be shouldered. So as I discussed earlier that I just transferred the LEDs on the bottom layer but all the other components were in the top layer. So for my project, I want the top layer to be shouldered and for the LEDs, I will shoulder it manually once I receive the PCB. Now after selecting the layer, click on this next. Now here you need to upload the BOM file and the CPL file which you just downloaded. So click on next. 
Now here just make sure that all the components which you want to be shouldered are confirmed already. Now click on next. So here is the preview on how your PCB will look like after shouldering the components. But currently the preview is not that much accurate. You will see the alignment of the components are not properly placed. But not an issue. This is just a preview. Okay. Now after confirming everything, just pay for your order and wait for the delivery. Now it took me around 12 days to get the PCBs delivered at my studio in India. So here is the box which I received from the DHL courier service. Now if you open the box, you can see that all the PCBs are wrapped into the bubble wrap sheet. With this, we can make sure that our PCBs and the components won't get damaged while the delivery. So here are the PCBs with the components shouldered on the one side. Now if I talk about the quality of PCB and the quality of shouldering, then you can blindly trust on the quality provided by GLC PCB. All the components are properly placed with a neat shouldering and the PCB looks really, really premium. Now after receiving the PCBs, I just manually shouldered out all the LEDs on one side. Now here I made one mistake and that mistake was when I was uh, you know placing the button cell inside the holder I found that the two holders are placed very close to each other in such a way that I can't you know put on two cells at a time. Now it was very heartbreaking to see this that the PCB won't be of any use but later on we decided to deshoulder that component and place that component a little far away and as you can see our project is perfectly working. So yeah, this was my quick video on how you can use the SMT assembly service from GLC PCB. Now talking about the giveaway of this badge, then I will be giving away this badge to some of my followers. So what I decided is I will be providing this badge to my true fan and how I can decide the fan is true or not. So once I posted that if you are a true fan of anyone, you must own his or her merchandise. So yeah, any of my subscribers visiting my stall at the Maker Mela Mumbai, Along with my merchandise, maybe it's t-shirt, maybe it's pocket notebook, doesn't matter. I will be giving them this Techie SMS badge absolutely free. Do visit the stall along with the merchandise and you can get this SMD badge absolutely free. So yeah, ending this video here. Subscribe my channel if you haven't to see more such informative videos in near future. Okay, so now just wait for my next video. Then explore, learn, share with me Techie SMS.